Hello, Kelsey Taylor here. Welcome to another Top List video. Now, today's Top List video, I'm going to do something kind of interesting. Um, I'm thinking about doing my, uh, like, Top List videos talking about my favorite movies from some of my favorite directors. And today, I'm going to be talking about Robert Zemeckis. Now, this was just kind of hard to put together because he's made a lot of great movies and a lot of classics, and I managed to find five of them. And it was kind of hard because... All these are so good. Um, I just this is like my personal ranking. Um, so this is my personal opinion. I'm gonna explain to you how I feel about each films and everything. Now I do have two honorable mentions. They are A Christmas Carol from 2009 and Castaway. Those are the honorable mentions that didn't make it into my top um, favorite list. But um, here are the five ones that I really like the most that Robert Zemeckis have directed. All right, let's begin. Number five, Welcome to Marwin. This is the one that's kind of underrated. Like, I don't hear that many people talk about it. I don't even think it did well at the box office. And it's, it's kind of a shame because I kind of like this movie. Um, Steve Carell's in it, and um, it's been a while since I've watched it. I mean, I only watched it one time and really fell in love with it. Um, it's about him, like, making, like, his own his own dolls. And then, um, um, it, it, like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, I would say, like, like, like I said, I have not watched the film in a while, so I barely remember um, if I ever get a DVD of it, I'll do a complete in-depth review of it. But watch the trailer, see if something you're interested in it. But um, I thought this was very well done and very interesting, and I really got more into it than I thought. So um, definitely check out Welcome Tomorrow, and I think that's one of Steve Carell's best performances in a long time. Well, you know, when it comes to him doing like compared to what he's been doing recently, and um, like I was, I'm more of a fan of his like his dramatic performances. So. Yeah, that's Welcome Tomorrow, and that's a good one. Number four, Forrest Gump. You can't talk about a good Tom Hanks movie and a good Robert Zemeckis directed film without mentioning Forrest Gump. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have seen this movie by this point. I mean, it is an amazing story. The character Forrest Gump is incredible. Um, and, um, you know, it's just it's such a memorable movie. And if you haven't seen Forrest Gump, it's definitely, you know, a, a must-see film, and I think my favorite Tom Hanks performance of all time, and that's, it's a very, it's like beautifully directed and, um, you know, wonderfully made by Robert Zemeckis, definitely a, a great one, it's one of my favorite drama movies. Number three, The Walk. Another one I don't hear many people talk about, and again, a shame, it really is an intense movie and a very well done um, one as well, and, um, I really wish I saw this one in the theaters because, like, it would have been jaw drop, would have been hard dropping too. Um, and, um, this is actually based on a true story. Um, it's about this guy who crosswalks in between the World Trade Centers when they were, I think they were still under construction at the time. And, um, like, he was one of those, it's like, you know, one of those circus performers who, um, you know, like, walks, uh, walks across on, on a thin line, and him walking across the World Trade Center and back in between the two towers it's it's incredible and um and um you know it's it's amazingly shot too and of course you know it's all blue screen and now green screen but you know it 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 makes you feel like he's really walking across on this thin rope like like i don't know like hundreds of feet above the ground or stuff like really 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 intense and definitely you should definitely check out the walk and i believe the movie's on 4K i'm not sure but if it is it's a it's definitely one of those movies that starts to be seen on the big screen. It's it's a really well done one. Um, okay, number two, the Back to the Future trilogy. I've talked about these movies before in um, my favorite um, Michael J. Fox movies of video, and um, I believe yeah, Robert Smack directed all three of them. I suppose um, I even like the sequels. Um, of course, everyone knows about Back to the Future. You know, it's a great um, film trilogy, and um, you know. Hopefully, you know, it's one of those movies that um, doesn't get rebooted or anything because I don't know where else you can go after part three. But um, Back to the Future, great humor, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of memorable scenes and great acting from Michael J. Fox and um, Christopher Lloyd. The characters, Marty and Doc, have great chemistry together and a lot of, you know, a lot of sci-fi stuff and time traveling. And, uh, you know, I even like part two for being set in 2015, which has already happened, and a lot of stuff has not happened, <laughs> which we wish we, if they did, but, and part three, you know, I actually kind of liked, you know, some people 
didn't like that one as much, but I don't know, I liked all of them. I think my favorite one is always going to be the first one. But the Back to the Future trilogy, like, just a set of my favorite um, Robert Smekis directed films. Like, so, yeah. Now, here's my number one favorite movie directed by Robert Smekis, and that is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? This is the movie I was obsessed with as a kid. I mean, cartoons in the live action world, I love seeing that stuff. And um, the way they did it back then was very impressive. You really believe these cartoon characters are there. And um, Robert Smekis did a great job directing it. And the late Richard Williams did like amazing animation on those characters. And um, it's definitely like. Like, if it's on Disney+, Plus, I recommend you check it out. It's like one of those movies they don't make anymore. Nowadays, if they do this stuff, they would, like... I mean, I, I think there's a way you could, you know, still put in cartoon characters. Like, um, like characters from current Cartoon Network shows and Nickelodeon shows. Like, I think you could do that now with more advanced technology. But, um, it was mind-blowing back then how they did. Or, like, nowadays, you know, they just do, like, CGI stuff. But something about, like, hand-drawn animation in live-action... Really makes so well, and I miss seeing that. Um, nowadays, people kind of like do it so cheaply for for like a YouTube video. Like I don't have that technique, but like that was some impressive filmmaking right here. Who Framed Roger Rabbit? My number one favorite film directed by Robert Zemeckis. So um, that's my list. Um, I like to know what you think of my picks, and let me know what some of your favorite movies are directed by Robert Zemeckis. Um, I know a lot of you probably have, like, um, have, like, different ones than mine, and that's fine, because he's directed a lot of great movies, so I'm definitely looking forward to what he's doing next. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Adios!